Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 22nd July, one day to go before the budget. Today's episode, I'll cover two important topics. One is Kotak Mahindra's results. It was a beaten down stock today, but the results were actually not bad. So I'll talk about that. Also, I'll talk about my analysis on the FIDI data. The 22nd July data as of today is still not out. So this analysis is based upon the data till Friday. The yellow line is expiry for previous month. So I have only considered data. After that, the biggest chunk belongs to options data. That is the largest section for the trades also. Futures data, cash data. But if you look at the open interest for call options, it is showing bearish pattern minus 10,000. My interpretation is that FIIs have heavily sold call options. If you look at the put open interest, it is showing positive, still bearish, which means FIIs have bought a lot of put options. Now the net purchase sales value is meager which indicates that there is a heavy hedging which has happened. Let me show the pattern which I think is applicable here. So this pattern is called risk reversal. Suppose I was to take this position now for 25th July expiry, then I am good till about 24, 720 on the upper side. Before that, it's all money. There is losses unlimited after that. So all I need to do is that market should not cross 24, 730. This is a bearish pattern. To achieve this, I buy put options and I sell call options. Sell call options, buy put options. This is exactly what the data is reflecting. I don't think today's data will change this too much. Now index future wise, buy sell amount is positive. Buy sell quantity is positive. So this is indicating long positions to me. But this is not a very high amount. Cash wise, FIIs have bought 21,642 crores cash. DIs have bought 7,437 crore worth of cash. So if you don't want markets to cross this point, we can use the cash positions and future positions to sell an avalanche and make the markets go down. Now, as markets go down, you make money, which is both set of options here. Yes, these positions can cause losses, but this loss will be meager compared to what is the money that can be earned in these options. Now, this is just what data is suggesting in my opinion. This is not a buy or sell advice at all. So take your positions wisely only. My general feeling is if the budget contains something bad for the FIIs, then this will happen tomorrow. Else FIIs will continue to build the positions tomorrow also. Wednesday and Thursday, the expiry days for Bank Nifty and Nifty, the expiry time roughly around 12.31, that is where the fun will begin because if something wrong has not happened here, then market will in any case be in euphoria buying mode. Now over the weekend, very important results came. HDFC Bank, I've already released a video. Market, however, rewarded the stock. It was given a big thumbs up. Kotak Mahindra sadly was beaten down. I'll talk about that next. And that, in my opinion, was a good set of result. Wipro was beaten blue and black today. However, Wipro's results were not very different from Infosys, for example. It just that in the IT sector, one stock had to be singled out in the large stocks. Wipro was the one. In mid cap, persistent was the one. This is the result sheet for Kotak 12,868, 15,156, 15,836. So interest earned has increased both on Q1, Q and year on year basis. The bigger figure, the interest income has increased in both cases again. Other income I have said is best in Q4. So this was expected to go down for all banks. Year on year, it is higher. Total income year on year is higher. Total income quarter on quarter is lower. This is because there is a significant drop, 3500 crore in other income. However, operating expenses have been well managed. Employee costs have not reduced. Like in the case of HDFC Bank, this reserve for policyholders has gone down. This we saw in case of HDFC also. As a result, total expenses 2690 have reduced to 18290. These are significantly higher than previous year's number. Operating profit 6782, that's slightly lesser than 7217 crores of previous quarter, but higher than previous year. Now, everyone is carrying some exceptional items. So, Kotak Mahindra is also carrying one 3800 crores. This is on account of selling of a subsidiary. As a result, profit from ordinary activities has actually increased year on year from 5586 crore to 9810 crore. Also, Q1Q, it has increased significantly 6775 crore to 9810 crore. Tax expense has increased. Profit after tax, year on year, there is increase. Quarter on quarter also, there is a good increase. No change in equity capital. EPS year on year increased from 20.89 to 37.47. 
क्वार्टर ऑन क्वार्टर इम्प्रूव फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव टू थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फोर सेवन क्रॉस एन पी ए हार्डली एनी चेंज नेट एन पी ए ऑल्सो हार्डली एनी चेंज सो कोटक महिंद्रा फेल सिग्निफिकेंटली टूडे बट आई कूड नॉट फाइंड द रीजन इन दर रिजल्ट इट जस्ट दैट द कवरेज गिवन टू कोटक महिंद्रा वॉज नॉट गुड इट वॉज पर हैप्स रिवर्स ऑफ वॉट वॉज डन फॉर एच डी एफ सी नाउ इकोनॉमिक सर्विस इज स्पेक्यूलेटिव ट्रेडिंग हैज नो प्लेस इन इंडिया सो देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ स्टफ दैट डज नॉट हैव प्लेस इन इंडिया इट शुड ऑल बी बैंड ग्रोथ विल स्लो डाउन येस फोर फोर एंड हाफ मंथ्स ऑफ दिस फाइनेंशियल ईयर हैव बीन ऑन इंटरिम बजट हार्डली एनी केपेक्स ओनली ओपेक्स सो ग्रोथ दिस ईयर विल बी लो इट हैपन्स इन इलेक्शन ईयर्स टूडे डिफेंस एंड फर्टिलाइजर स्टॉक्स वेंट अप लाइक रॉकेट इट सीम्स लाइक पीपल हैज फॉरगॉटन दैट दीज स्टॉक्स हैव ऑलरेडी गॉन अप अहेड ऑफ द बजट इन द पास्ट वन मंथ नोट ऑल ऑफ दीज पीपल विल बी ट्रेडर्स एक्सपेक्टिंग टू बाय टूडे सेल टूमोरो गवर्नमेंट क्लियरली सेट टूडे इट सेल्फ नो स्पेशल स्टेटस टू बिहार पर हैप्स ऑल द मनी विल बी स्पेंड ऑन आंध्र प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट हैज टेकन अ गैम्बल बिकॉज चंद्रबाबू नायडूज नंबर आर इनफ फॉर द गवर्नमेंट टू सर्वाइव नाउ विक्स डिड शूट अप टूडे फोर परसेंट सो नाउ आई डोंट थिंक वील रीच द वोलेटिलिटी दैट वी सॉ अहेड ऑफ द इलेक्शन रिजल्ट रिलायंस क्रैक्ड एच डी एफ सी वेंट अप एस बी आई क्रैक्ड एज वेल आई टी सी क्रैक्ड इनफी वेंट अप सो देर वॉज आर टेरिफिक बैलेंसिंग एक्ट इन द इंडेक्स टूडे इन द टॉप टेन स्टॉक्स निफ्टी हार्डली मूवड डिस्पाइट रिलायंस फॉलिंग थ्री पॉइंट फोर परसेंट दिस इज अ बिग डील दिस इज वाई एच डी एफ सी हैड टू बी अप टू डेट इफ एच डी एफ सी रिजल्ट वर डिक्लेयर बैड एंड एच डी एफ सी हैड टैंक फोर परसेंट फाइव परसेंट लाइक से विप्रो और कोटक महिंद्रा देन टूडे वुड हैव बीन डूम्स डे बैंक निफ्टी हार्डली मूवड आई टी डाउन दैट इज बिकॉज टी सी एस वॉज डाउन प्रॉफिट बुकिंग हाइड ऑफ द बजट एफ आई डी आई डेटा आई जस्ट चेक एफ आई इज वर नेट बायर्स डी आई इज वर नेट सेलर्स नो एक्सेप्शनल नंबर्स बट आई टू सी द ऑप्शन डेटा एनर्जी वॉज डाउन नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी अप वन पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट डिफेंस अप थ्री परसेंट नो डेट डिफेंस वॉज मोस्टली डाउन लास्ट वीक गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर बोथ करेक्टेड अ बिट द एडिया डेटा इज एज ऑफ फ्राइडे यूएस मार्केट्स आर नॉट अग्रींग टू कम इन ग्रीन एट ऑल Reliance had a false alarm. It went up in the initial part from the opening levels, and till midday it cracked, and then it consolidated nearly at the lowest points of the day in a very narrow range of twenty points. TCS went down continuously. HDFC reached peak of the day by about eleven o'clock, then it consolidated. ICICI opened low, and it closed higher than its opening point. ATL was completely undecided. SBI started up, but then went down. Infosys choppy. एच यू एल चॉपी आई टी सी करेक्टेड निफ्टी एंड बैंक निफ्टी बोथ ओपन एट द बॉटम पॉइंट ऑफ द डे वेंट अप एंड देन कंसॉलिडेटेड बैंक एच डी एफ सी बैंक ओनली स्टूट ऑल ऑल अदर बैंक वर्ड डाउन आर ईसी एंड पी एफ सी आर अप अट बिकॉज पॉवर प्रोजेक्ट आर फाइनेंस बाय देम ओनली इन द कंट्री डिफेंस यूजली ओपन हाई एंड देन करेक्ट टूडे इट ओपन हाई एंड रिमेन हाई metals picked up a bit of steam hindustan zinc was the only one which opened at the highest point of the day and then corrected a bit but most other metal stocks were up and up a lot most of them closed at the day's high nearly good buying returning in steel stocks also today i have added hindustan copper here it was up 6% railway stocks irfc was down a bit but most of the other stocks saw some buying it wipro was bleeding 9% down this is aligned with the adr volumes 150% persistent i mentioned last time it will be the first to see buying it returned with a 4% up number energy sector was mixed pack the power pack was up 1% led by ntpc and power grid usually budget talks about spending in increasing the power capacity of the country however reliance was down 3.5% so the overall oil sector was down a lot 2% market belt was fantastic 28 sectors up out of 36 aerospace and defense electrical utilities construction materials automobiles the beaten down sectors of yesterday they were up most no surprises oil and gas and software were the laggards automobiles only madarsan sumi was down the construction engineering pack saw a lot of buying today volumes were good cement stock saw significant buying its budget tomorrow adani enterprise down today also itc corrected 1.7% nestle also 0.4% there is something coming up probably for the insurance sector tomorrow Thankfully, the heavy machinery pack was up. It was beaten down significantly last week. See how far it is away from 52-week high ahead of the budget. Natural gas utilities picked up today. The consumption pack was up. HUL, Godrej, Dabur, Colgate, Pharma up significantly. Real estate mixed pack. Telecom industry tower was up, but I am not expecting anything specific for telecom tomorrow. 
निफ्टी फिफ्टी ट्वेंटी स्टॉक्स डाउन थर्टी अप बेस्ट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन केम फ्रॉम एच डी एफ सी एन टी पी सी अल्ट्राटेक इन्फोसिस रिलायंस विप्रो कोटक महिंद्रा स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया पुल डाउन द इंडाइसिस वॉल्यूम ऑफ रिलायंस विप्रो कोटक वर वेरी हाई विप्रो फोर हंड्रेड परसेंट नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी एट स्टॉक्स डाउन फोर्टी टू अप दिस लेट टू अ फेंटास्टिक मार्केट बेट टूडे पी एस यू बैंक एस बी आई वॉज डाउन एवरी वन एल्स वॉज अप सिग्निफिकेंटली माई ट्रेड्स आई डिड नॉट सेल एनी थिंग वॉट इज अ पॉइंट ऑफ बाइंग एंड सेलिंग वन डे आई हेड ऑफ द बजट आई एवरेज डाउन ऑन कोचिन शिप यार्ड स्मॉल क्वान्टिटी बिकॉज द सर्किट इज फाइव परसेंट माई लॉस वॉज हायर सो मे बी फिट गोज अप फाइव परसेंट अगेन टूमोरो आई एल प्रोबली एग्जिट मे बी एंड मेक अ लिटिल मनी मास फाइनेंशियल अगेन इट वॉज अ लॉस मेकिंग पोजिशन आई डिड अ लॉड ऑफ एनालिसिस ऑफ मास फाइनेंशियल द रिजल्ट आर ऑन वेडनेसडे आई थिंक द रिजल्ट विल बी फेंटास्टिक सो आई बॉट अ बिट ऑफ इट आई बॉट हिंदुस्तान कॉपर लेट सी वॉट बजट हैज इन स्टोर फॉर ई वीज टूमोरो फॉर कॉपर देर इज अ स्टोरी द इंटरनेशनल प्राइसेज आर अबाउट टेन परसेंट अवे फ्रॉम द सपोर्ट जोन विच आई सी समवेर अराउंड हेयर सो आई थिंक द डाउन साइड इज लिमिटेड नाउ आई किल्ड द लॉसेज विच आई वॉज कैरिंग फॉर लास्ट फ्यू डेज इन द ऑप्शन ट्रेड्स नाउ माई लिमिट हैज एक्सपायर्ड आई लैव टू अर्न बैक मनी टू गेट बैक इन टू ऑप्शन मार्केट आई कांट यूज द प्रॉफिट आई हैव बुक्ड एज पर माई ओन रूल्स द सैड पार्ट इज द ग्रीन ऑप्शन are नाइन and the red options are सिक्स yet the losses have cleaned me out the loss days are lot more painful cash there has not been a single red day this month so big day tomorrow there are few rules i have created for myself i'll just summarize them quickly these are not recommendations that you should follow also and i hope that i follow all of them avoid stock based options maybe very little small index options just to scalp no large trades at all in options the limits are gone the money is there in the demat account but i will not use it avoid going long completely the data is showing short but i have already burnt my hands with shorting a lot of late so i don't want to short either if i short then go for scalping kind of trades don't hold the trade for 1 hour 2 hour maybe take overnight tomorrow is not a day for buying or averaging if there is euphoria then use it to lighten this applies to the trading portfolio not the long term investing portfolio note that i did not sell hdfc from the long term portfolio either i was double minded today so let the markets find a balance on its own first money will be made in future also tomorrow is not the last day to make money so better sit out if there is no specific conviction thanks for watching good luck for tomorrow make some money in the markets i'll see you tomorrow evening <music>